Leadership does not sustain on emotional idealism. It needs a lot of practical knowledge and a farsightedness to be able to practice the wisdom that helps a country prosper and people uh, to progress. Only talent does not help. Tact is required. In Ekalavya Dronacharya and Arjun's story, when Arjun witnesses the cruelty that happened with Ekalavya, it is only obvious that he would think about it and he would wonder how the things moved and what exactly happened in front of him. And so it leads me to think that what happened to Arjun? What did he think? What was his reaction when he found Ekalavya's finger chopped off? Which means that he will not be able to practice archery at all. And uh, all the skills that he was had acquired was rendered useless. So when I try to understand Arjun, I get into a lot of other things. See, people are born with a spark. Humans are born with a spark. But they are not necessarily talented by birth. Arjun was not the very talented, very um, skillful Arjun right after he was born. He acquired it with a lot of tapasya, a lot of hard work, a lot of penance. I say this because I had been digging into it and I had been trying to understand uh, the origin and development of Arjun's penance and I asked two of my friends Sai Swarupayar and uh, mythologist Utkarsh Patel. Uh, Utkarsh said that there's no evidence of Arjun being born talented and if you look at it you hear the stories of Bal Ganesha, Bal Hanuman, Bal Krishna but you don't hear about Bal Arjun but the fact that he practiced a lot of uh, penance, a lot of tapasya to acquire his skills, that evidence is there in the Mahabharata. So I have reasons to say that Arjun was not born talented, he had a spark which he honed later. In this context, uh, Sai Swarupa Iyer gave me a wonderful answer which I will mention in the comments for you to read. But what I understand is that when you are not born talented and you work hard to develop the skills and of course, uh, if you have the kind of environment where you can groom yourself, you, where you can identify your talent and groom yourself to be uh, the skillful person that you are capable of being, when you have uh, the kind of um, uh, a friendly environment to be able to do that then that is your blessing not everybody a lot of people are talented but not everybody has that opportunity where the environment is conducive towards their development so Arjun definitely figured his talent honed it and he had the environment to groom it and he did with a lot of tapasya now Given that he sees in front of him that a very talented guy's finger is chopped off by his own guru, by the order of his own guru, because he asked for, uh, because the guru asked for Guru Dakshina for something that he had not exactly done. What should come to Arjun's mind is, what if he does the same to me? Tomorrow he can. He might ask me to chop off my finger and so I lose everything that I have acquired with so much hard work. Of course, with the help of Dronacharya. And in that case, when this dawns upon Arjun, he does what a leader should do. The idea of leadership is to be farsighted, to be able to predict the future and work in a way that the problems that might come in the future there is always a plan B for that. And we have heard that Arjun is also called Sabbesachi. Sabbesachi, he was called Sabbesachi because he was an all-rounder. He could use both his hands with equal fineness. 
and that leads me to think this is of course my hypothesis but still that leads me to think that probably arjun was not a born talent he honed it and later upon seeing what happened with ekalavya he practiced both his hands and became equally talented equally capable of using both his hands so that even if circumstances uh, circumstances uh, bring a moment where he has to do something like that and he can't deny he always have this the plan b ready the backup is there with him that's leadership i will come back to you with something else yet again in the next post till then see you goodbye